E-filing can have all sorts of characteristics. At our national conferences, we get people there bragging about having e-filing when they really have nothing more than a sophisticated faxing system. Um, it's another way of bringing in electronically a document. For a system to really be called an e-filing system, it needs to have web-based characteristics and access. Um, it needs to have the documents that can be accessed via your case management system as well. And I think you know, we're going to talk about this a lot over, over the next little while, and so it's important that we make sure everybody understands the difference between a database system and a document management system. A database system is one in which you're only dealing with pieces of information, like name, charge, attorneys, events that occur in the case. For a long time, when you were talking about public access, what we were talking about was access to those types of databases. Those are called case management systems or CMS systems. A lot of places have that. A document management system is a system that takes a document, a piece of paper, either takes a picture of it or reconstructs it through some sort of an e-form. But it's the document with all of the information on that document that gets stored and accessed. E-filing really is a concept that merges the two of those things. It says, I want to take that document and that information that's in that document, and I want to merge it with my court case management system. And that merging and integration and accessibility with your CMS is important for it to be a real e-filing system. Um, it posts automatically to financials. It manages output orders as well as import orders. One of the things, and Judge Ruckriegel um, does a lot of this e-filing, the judges tell us in Colorado is it's not only the inbounds that really make the system valuable, but it's the judge's ability to send orders outbound back to the parties um, with the speed of light that, that uh, makes it a valuable system. And that in Colorado, it also has an e-service component. So that in the old days, if you had a civil case and you had to serve 100 different parties, if they're all registered with our system, all you have to do is hit the button once and it electronically serves all of those 100 parties. Um, those are the basic components of an e-filing system. 